Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 96. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 1996. Hey, 96 here. We have a name trick. Now, sometimes you have tables one table, two table, three tables. And you'd like to be able to print all three of those tables out on separate sheets. So there's a way to do it using a name. And this will be a printing and go to uh, trick also. Uh, let's highlight this first table. And the way you highlight this table and this table and this table at the same time is you to use the control key. So after selecting the first range, hold control and then click and drag on the second table still holding control click and drag on the third table I've highlighted one two three tables now you can name that selection even though it's not next to each other a single name I'm gonna click up in the name box I'm gonna name it something short a enter now I'm gonna um, click over here and click click on the drop down and point to a and sure enough instantly it highlights those three areas let's do that again I'm gonna highlight this hold control and highlight this and I'm going to come up to the name box and type B, Enter. Now let's test it. Let's go to A, and then let's go to B. Now one uh, advantage to this is that you could print out um, or do set print area. Some people like to uh, do set print area, which means uh, those three areas will be the only thing uh, printed out. We're not going to do that here. I'm going to highlight one, two, three. I use my name, right? I'm going to control P, which is print, and I'm going to select print. What? Selection. Now I could go to preview and watch this. It'll be three separate tables. One, uh, two, and three. So on successive uh, tables. I'm going to do that again. Control P, selection, preview, and I'm going to show my ribbons with control F1. So then I can just go next, next. So that's one way to use this. Uh, and then if you go to B, then you could do control. It highlights those instantly. So you could have lots of separate tables on one sheet. Control P, selection, and preview. And then go to next, and it's highlighting just those tables. Now here, uh, on uh, that's a good enough trick. But here's one of the weirdest functions you'll ever see, the areas functions. And I don't have a good use for this, but it's so funny um, that I have to show it to you. Uh, there are uses for this. I actually have used it one time. But here, it wants a reference. And we have the letter uh, A as a named range. So I'm going to type um, 3. And the area function will tell you how many different areas there are. And there you go. It'll say 3. If I click here and hit F2 and change this to B, it'll tell me that there's two separate areas in that named range. So that's, that's a weird function there. All right, we'll see you next week.